Y'all take that same thing into the school. All right, Chief. All right, Chief. All right. You will now have two minutes to complete as many proper push-ups as you can. Are you ready? Always ready. Ready up. Begin. I feel great. I really do. Like all the hard work paid off. It's a huge weight off my shoulders. I'm coming from battle stations. That's for sure. Battle stations about to get the best of me right now. Take all of that. Work together as a team. Execute the mission. And the next time I see you, you'll be sailors. Who y'all neighbors? Who battle stations is a crucible event. They go in as recruits and they come out sailors. The most nerve wracking part about going into battle stations was knowing that if we don't pass battle stations, there is no way that you will graduate. We get to battle stations around eight, um, eight o'clock at night. Stop. All right, y'all are motivated. That's great. You need to maintain that motivation all throughout the night. You're, you're tired now. There's gonna be nothing at zero four, zero five, zero six. Chief, you been two two nine nine right in the battle station, Chief. So Battle Stations is the final test before you can graduate boot camp. It is all night long, and it's basically all of the classes that you've had and all the training that you've had since you came to boot camp, just all crammed into one. We, we, try, to, we try to keep everybody in line, try to keep everybody awake, try to keep everybody as less stressed as possible. We keep everybody happy. Uh, and I think we did a good job. There's not much that I can say about Battle Station. It's just that it's very tiring. It's very stressful. You got to rely on your shipmates next to you to make sure that you all got through it efficiently. It made me kind of think about my job and my role um, as far as the Navy goes, it really made me appreciate how important it is for every single member on that ship to know exactly what to do and where to go and how to get things done efficiently. That way you're not just looking for that one firefighter, that one DC man to come and save the day, so to say. So I really appreciated that part and that aspect of my training because everybody needs to know that. Where's the other side? Hurry up! What day left? Really, we, everybody um, is just really excited that we get to graduate tomorrow. Ray, I need you to be done, all right? And to get to see our family and, and everything is done pretty much. That's, that's the main thing. We're happy to be done with this. And I'm happy for all you guys are done with and everybody who finishes together. You'll hear people say boot camp is a filter, not a pump. We're supposed to evaluate these people and uh, decide whether they're sailors or not. But I will refuse to lower the standard to help someone achieve the goal that, in my opinion, is one of the greatest things you can do, and that's become a sailor. So all the recruits that do make it through my divisions, I'll be proud of and feel like I'm really helping out the fleet. Well, for the captain ceremony, I got the chills. I got the goosebumps, and um, I didn't tear. I can kind of tear up a little bit. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, it's 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 emotional, you know. Uh, it's been a long eight weeks. All the things that we've been through. It was kind of emotional. It was nice finally being able to shake my RDC's hands and shake my fellow shipmates' hands and trade in that recruit ball cap and finally get that ball cap that's been sitting in my rack since the day we got here. So it just, it feels like a sense of accomplishment um, 
just that whole ceremony and, and switching over. It feels great. I thought coming into the Navy as someone who had already finished college and been on my own and worked on my own job that this experience wouldn't change me as much as it has. But I can, I can see the difference in it. I can see the difference the way I talk to people. It gives you so much more respect for yourself and so much more respect for other people. I don't even know if it would ever hit me. I feel like it was just, it's just a change in my life. You know, when you change, you don't really notice it, but other people do. My boot camp have made me, uh, have made a product of myself that I want everybody to see. A personality that I never knew that I could have. And I'm really proud of myself. There is one percent of the United States that joins the military. And to be that 1% in the Navy is a sense of pride that you carry with you. Our day-to-day -day job, it's a tough job. You have to be tough. That's what boot camp does. We create tough sailors so that ultimately our Navy is what the nation needs. The challenge to come up here and do this job and to make civilians into sailors, it is the hardest job I've ever had, but it's the most rewarding job I've ever had. It's, it's a feeling that you can't really explain to someone until they come up here, put the rope on, and, and graduate a division. I'm really looking forward to not only what the Navy has for me, but what I can also give back to the Navy and to my country. I'm excited about being able to serve and say that I did serve which wasn't necessarily at the top of my list when I walked into the recruiting station. Honestly, I was thinking more about, oh, I wanna to go to college or go back to college. I want the benefits, I want this, I want that. But after being here and after seeing how passionate that my RDCs were about being in the service and how much this means to them, it really made me redirect my attention for my reasoning of being here. I just, I want to be here. I want to make my parents proud. I want to make my RDCs proud. So I just want to go out there and give my best. And at the end of the day, whether my time ends at four years or my time ends at 30 years, I want to say that my time that I served in the Navy, I gave everything I could have given. And that was it. I finished Navy boot camp. <laughs> I really finished Navy boot camp by, wow. I never thought I would have said that. Yes, I am a United States sailor. It's kind of surreal and I'm just, I'm so proud of myself. I'm proud of the journey that, uh, that I had to take to get here and all of the challenges and obstacles. It just makes this moment so much greater knowing how far I had to come to be here. I, I am a United States sailor now, and uh, I, I feel completely different. Uh, I didn't come here a uh, United States sailor, but I'm leaving a sailor now. And it's an amazing feeling, honestly. I miss you a lot. I miss you a lot, too.